Show us your belly. Ah, I see it. <laughs> so as you guys probably just guessed, we have a huge announcement. We're expecting baby number two. I'm officially in my second trimester and I'm so happy for that because I was so sick for my first trimester. So I'm gonna share a little bit about my first trimester, what I experienced, how this has been different, um, and you know, just talk. All right, so baby number two, um, we're really excited about it. We wanted to have a second baby, and this was kind of like the timing that I wanted it to be. It's not always perfect, right? You can't really say like, this is when I'm gonna get pregnant, this is when we're gonna have a baby, but I knew I wanted to have a second baby. Like when I really think about it, like my whole hope was I was gonna go home for the holidays in 2018 and be able to like tell everybody, guess what, I'm pregnant, but it doesn't always work out like that. I wasn't pregnant at the at, at Christmas when I went home to see my parents, but I got pregnant, you know, like right after that. You know, we're really pumped about it. We're really scared too. After you have had one baby, you know that it's gonna be like hard, not necessarily as hard because you know what to expect a little bit more, but you definitely get a little bit more like, oh my God, there's so much more that we're gonna, we're gonna have to go through like the sleep deprivation again and like the sleep training. And what if this baby is colicky or what if this baby, you know, like has anything, you know, like you go through all of the same emotions all over again. I'm definitely more excited this time in a different way because I think I'm like more mentally prepared for this pregnancy. But at the same time, there's just like so much stuff that starts going through your brain. It's amazing how much like that anxiety builds up in you all over again, even for like the second pregnancy for me. I immediately start feeling like worried about maybe like this baby getting sick. What if I miscarry? Any of that stuff, it all comes back up the second time around too, or at least it has for me. So, you know, like I, I even waited a little while to make sure everything was healthy and, ha and, and going really well with this pregnancy before announcing it to you guys. Never doing somersaults, like man. I just had a little caffeine. Oh, yeah, you think? <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to share with you guys that I'd been pregnant this whole last trimester because I had been so sick, which has been a huge difference between my first pregnancy and this pregnancy. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I'm not out of the woods yet because I definitely have moments where I'm like, if I get just a little too hot or if I feel hungry, I start feeling really nauseous. But even just a few weeks ago, I was feeling so sick. I couldn't look at my phone. I couldn't look at my computer screen. It was really, really hard to work. I found myself like laying on the couch all the time. How are you feeling today, Susan? everything started making me feel sick when I would think about it. You know, one of the girls came to work with perfume on one day and I was just like, don't ever wear perfume to work again. It's really amazing how different a pregnancy can be. I feel like all I really want is super bad food um, so far in this pregnancy, like donuts and croissants and lots of like butter and bread and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Flaky, crispy. And this is actually my second one today. So this has been sitting here for a second. And it's still really delicious. But things like chicken really, really gross me out. Um, even just like the thought of it. I thought seafood might not gross me out, but some, we ordered like some shrimp the other day at dinner and it came to our table and I couldn't even look at it. My husband tried to like give me a piece to try it because he said it was delicious and I like almost freaked out that he put a little piece on my plate because I was like, oh my God, this is disgusting. I can't even look at it or smell it. It's been really hard to figure out what to eat um, this second time around. We're not sure what we're having yet as far as the sex goes, but we're definitely going to share with you guys once we find out, which will be pretty soon. I really want a girl, but I'm going to be super excited whether it's a boy or a girl. It might take me a second, like I might, if it's if we're having another boy, I'll be really happy because at the end of the day, it all comes down to having a health, like a happy, healthy baby. But you know, like there's that little part of me that wants a girl, you know, like a boy and a girl would be so perfect. I am a pretty girly girl, so I've always wanted a girl to kind of share that with. So I'll be a little bit disappointed if it's not a girl, but that is okay. We're all gonna find out and no matter what, I'm gonna be so happy just to have a beautiful, healthy baby. And the reason for that is because I just can't imagine having more than two kids. I, I didn't really even know if I wanted one kid to begin with and then now I'm finding myself wanting 
two kids. So this is pretty much it for me. I'm really happy about that too, since this pregnancy has been so much harder. I've been so much more uncomfortable this pregnancy, like sleeping is a little bit harder for me. I've been so much more tired. My belly started to pop right away. Are you showing faster this time than last time? Oh my God. I'm so much faster. It's like, it's like I woke up and I was pregnant and I literally had a belly. Which has been strange because it took me forever to show with my last pregnancy and this one I'm just like, just popping right away um, and not fitting into any of my clothing. I feel like I'm, you know, just really lethargic this time. And I'm really happy that Nikosh goes to bed so early because I find that I go to bed with him like at 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. I'm like, all right, it's time for bed. And it's like, really, it's time for mom to go to bed. So that's pretty good for me. But otherwise, you know, like, I think it's gonna be a really big year. Nikosh has no idea. I've mentioned to him a couple of times that he's gonna be a big brother. He just is like, cool, like, no idea, no idea. I keep telling him there's a little baby in mommy's belly, but he's just like, cool. So now he knows what belly buttons are because he keeps lifting my shirt up because I keep showing him my belly button so he thinks this is some weird game that we're playing. It's gonna be a big year because he's also gonna start preschool. We're gonna potty train him. He's literally gonna start preschool and then like two weeks later, I'm going to be having the baby. I am gonna have an elective C-section this time because I did have an emergency C-section last time. And I'm just not that person, you guys, to go and try for a VBAC. I'm sorry for those of you that are disappointed in me for that, but it's just not my style. Um, I kind of wanted an elective C-section the first time and I, and I went against my gut feeling. And this time I'm just gonna go straight forward and go with the elective C-section. My husband Arun is really excited. I think he feels the way I feel like he's really like nervous about it because because we now know what to expect, but at the same time, because we know what to expect, he's really excited about it because we have a better idea, like a little bit more of a plan this time. We have really good help. Our nanny is awesome. That was partially the timing for me was that I was trying to like time it so that we can like keep her. So Nikosh wouldn't start school and then it'd be like, no, don't leave me. It was like, Nikosh is gonna start school, but we've got a fresh new baby for you. <laughs> so that's exciting too, because I didn't have really good help the first time around and that I found that to be really, really hard. So I'm hoping that this is gonna be an easier transition because I do have somebody to help support me. My team is ready for it. I think we're all just like a lot more prepared mentally for all of this, so that's some of the good news. Um, I mean, it's all good news. Having a baby is good news. I'm due September 24th, so you know, we've got all the way to September to follow along and see what's happening. I'll keep you guys updated on everything and I'll be sharing a lot more about, you know, my pregnancy adventures. So here we go, you guys, baby number two, woohoo! Thanks so much for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Keep up with me on Instagram about my baby updates and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.